you see me? Yeah, yeah. All right, but but here's the man side. With men, it's very different. With men, it's very different. From 18 to 30. Remember, at first it was the woman's side. The woman's side was uh, from 18 to about mid 30s. You know, they have all this potential, all these options, and the world the world is really giving them a lot between those ages. But w with men, uh, give me a second. Hello. Hey, they want they want they change. They want to go and get the five percent on the two front too as well. Um, but with men from 18 to about 30 they have no real value to offer anybody so their light is very dim so the world is actually not giving men as much opportunity or if anything as much attention as it should be giving to him and that's why a lot of men light doesn't really shine in these moments these moments are really when you're 18 through 30 as a man this is the biggest test these are the biggest times you're going to be tested you're literally getting tested uh to build your manhood you're really getting tested to see if you're going to get conditioned to cross the other side of manhood this is where the test begins and you're getting thrown into it without wanting to get thrown into it that's at least 12 years of getting beat up rejected and if you do cross over to the other side which barely some do because of their weakness lack of knowledge and understanding but those that do cross over to the other side other side now that light starts to shine brighter and brighter and brighter as you age to the point where all those women he never had access to now becomes available to him just like the woman has all her access to all the men in the beginning of her journey this is why when people say men and women are equal in the game of life i laugh i just laugh because we are not we are total opposites women have their advantages men have their advantages and vice versa men have their disadvantages and women have their disadvantages but a quick side note for men your journey again i'm repeating myself your journey is so much harder than a woman's because no one is going to be there for you in the beginning and I mean no one. It's you versus you. This is our disadvantage as a man. But if you can pass through that valley of darkness and reach to the other side, it eventually becomes your superpower. For women, you have all the advantages in the start of the game. But since y'all so immature, uneducated, and naturally fall short you have one of the biggest hardest tests in the beginning because you have to access because you at my fault because you have access and all sorts of influence and power in your hands and then you all start to mess that up because the lack of knowledge and understanding you have about life men and most important God and yourself which eventually put you through the bad end of the stick towards the end. I said, this game is cold for sure. Because of all its traps around us. I said, keep educating yourself though about life. And you'll become sharper. And eventually it'll become better to see the enemy and traps. But that still doesn't make life easier. You just become stronger. When I hear a woman say, I can't find a man, all I hear is, I haven't found a man that has conquered himself yet. And that's how I'm going to end this video. Oh, and by the way, if you want, um, like I said, if you want to talk to me, you want personal one-on-ones or you want to chop it up and, you know, you hear something interesting or you going through something, bro, message me. But...
like I said, it's value exchange. Throw me some bread. We're going because it's my time. And this is what I dedicated my life to. So you got to respect me and respect that and that aspect. If you just here to waste my time, and especially if you receive this information and you don't use it, that's wasting, we're wasting each other's time. So, you know, hit me up.